baby. Paws up. Paws up. Not a bad size, though. Heads will. Right, morning one in California. Um, I got in late last night, set up camp. On my way in, I was coming out here and I saw a nice three by three. This spot's, this is a sweet spot. It's right on the coast. I'll give you guys a little pano. I'm kind of fogged out, so I'm trying to get to a high glassing point and uh, work my way in from there, let the fog burn off. But there's a lot of animals out here. I saw a bobcat and a few deer on my way in, so here it is. Well, I turned up around five deer down in this canyon right here, right behind me. As you can tell, I got completely fogged out. Um, I saw a doe and a fawn at the bottom, and they came sprinting out of the bottom of the canyon, so I think maybe there's something down there stirring up coyotes, bobcat, mountain lion, something like that. So I saw three other deer that were pretty relaxed by themselves. I think I'm just gonna sit here and wait out the fog and see what happens. Well, that was hectic. Driving into my hunting spot and I looked down the hill and about 500 yards away, there was three bucks, uh, two forking horns and a spike. And I immediately pull over, park the car, head down to start stalking them. And I look behind me and I see a truck watching me and you know, they're pointing, oh, they're above you, they're above you. Uh, I'm assuming they knew that the grass was up to my shoulders and I could only see the antlers of these deer. And I go up, get the stock on, close the distance, I get within 45, 50 yards, range them, and they're looking right at me. And the spike was looking right at me. And draw back, let one fly, and you might be able to see it in my camera uh, footage that's on my bow, but it was a, I mean, they were looking right at me and as soon as I let that arrow go, they, that deer dropped and took off and then he, the deer like stopped, turned around and walked back towards me and I'm sitting there watching them and watching them and I couldn't find my arrow, but from watching the deer, there was, he was, uh, he was not hit. I could see his whole body in the frame. He was, he wasn't hit at all, so. It sucks one arrow gone uh but i think that was around like four o'clock so i'm gonna keep uh glassing and see what else i can turn up they weren't huge bucks but they were pretty good black tails so see what happens well it might be some early redemption <laughs> went a half mile down the road hopped off started glassing in the shade and i got phone scope footage of him but i was watching two does and a fawn and uh a buck just randomly popped up and went straight up and over the spine. So I'm going to drop down this spine and hopefully he started feeding on the other side. So here we go. Well, just bombed all the way down that hill down there. And right here, trying to find that buck and I could not find him. I, that little button buck just popped up, but the does and the buck that I was after, he just never showed up. So. I'm gonna try to beat feet out of here, hop back in the car and try to find find more bucks, but it's tough, uh, you know, this open, it's deceiving. It looks like it's super open, but it's actually pretty thick and tall. So I'm gonna bomb up this hill and try to find more deer. Well, started day two, just got to a glassing point. I saw two bucks on the way in and about 10 does. And by the time I got out of my car and tried to put a stock on them, they already took off. So I think when moose spots, the spot's pretty thick, but I did see two bucks here last night. So here's what it looks like. Wow, right after I filmed this clip, these the bucks that I saw last night just popped out. They're about 
gonna go the way of walking right towards me, so I'm trying to slip around and grab my bow. And then come back for him. The buck's bedded down at 120 yards. It's gonna be a tough stock. The bigger buck bedded down in the ravine, and I could see approximately where he's at, and then little buck's about a hundred yards just to the right of him. They're not the biggest bucks, but if I could pull off this stock, that'd be pretty sweet. I'm gonna have to belly crawl through this field for God knows how long. It's already super hot. And so I think I'm gonna set up the big camera and then I'm gonna belly crawl to get within shooting distance. I'm at 120 right now, but it's super thick all the way down there, so I'll shoot. guys he's dying he's going down all right I'm about to go drop in and grab my buck hopefully fingers crossed he's actually down it looked like he was he was hurting bad he didn't make it more than 80 yards um, luckily he ran right right to the camera and car so I'm gonna go drop down and hopefully he's just lying down there dead and I can cut him up and maybe go grab a second tag Got him. He's dead right here. Curled up right behind that bush. You guys can see that. You can see his hoof right there. I'm gonna grab this deer, pull him out here, take some photos and start cutting him up. Oh. Here he is, 2023 California Blacktail. It was a crazy stock to get this deer. Um, pretty crazy story on, actually on how I saw him. I saw him last night, right after I missed a little bit bigger buck than this. And um, you know, they're in some wide open terrain that's super thick, so it's extremely hard to stalk them. And I came up, this is the very first spot I went to this morning. I had the camera up, I was updating you guys, and as I was updating you guys, you'll see the footage uh, through the phone scope and big camera. I looked down and these two bucks were 130 yards away, working right towards me. So I'm sitting there filming them, and I noticed both of them bed down, and I'm like, alright, I have a decision to make here. I'm either going to put a stock on these deer, or I'm going to wait until they get up and move out of their bed. Um, and I decided I'm just gonna go for it. It's a good rep to get a stock in. There's lots of deer here. So I set the big camera up, start moving down the hill, and I get to like 70 yards, and I'm like, there's no way these deer do not know I am here because it is so loud and so thick I'm trying to move through this brush. And I get there, and I give, uh, give them the old rock trick. Uh, you'll see it in the big camera. I get. To, I think 40-ish yards of where I thought they were bedded at and I just start I throw a rock and I'm like all right I'm getting ready for him to jump up because it's so thick in here it's hard for them to move quick you know and really know what's going on so I throw the the first rock they don't get up I throw three more rocks and I'm like all right I'm just gonna walk straight at them they either somehow gave me the slip or they are hunkered down and they do not want to leave so I get 20 30 yards from them and the first one jumps up, the bigger gray one, um, and I get him, I have my pins dialed at 50, I get him at 38, 
a good range. Draw back and he goes right behind a bush and then takes off so I get no shot and then I was kind of sitting there like oh you know I just blew another stock and this one walks out range him at 38 uh, and I'm whistling to get him to stop and he stopped and I let it fly I don't know if you guys are able to see the kill shot on footage because I think I think it was in frame but regardless it was a beautiful shot this is the exit right here right behind the shoulder and out and he went like 40 yards and I could tell he was hurting pretty bad so I ran back up to the truck thankfully I'm like I don't know 30 40 yards from the truck uh, of where he died he ran right back up towards the camera and uh, got it done 2023 California blacktail I'm debating on whether or not I want to grab another tag because man this is fun I've seen 20 plus bucks um, you know this one was the smaller of most of the bucks that I've seen but regardless you know it's a big body deer meat in the freezer first ton of the year so I'm stoked uh, thank you guys for watching